Smash that morning itch on the home of the Woody Show. You know? You know. Oh. Alt 98.7. All in or all out. LA's new alternative. The Woody Show. We're into another new hour. Insensitivity training for a politically correct world. It is Friday morning. Hey. Hey. August the 23rd, 2024. Thank you for being here. Checking out the show this morning. Into the weekend as quickly as we can. Woody, Greg. Hey. Menace. What up? There's uh, Seabass. Good morning to you, Seabass. Yeah. Uh, we got Sammy. Good morning. Phones are open 877 woody That's 877 woody Text us. Friday check-in. Send those over to 2297. Let us know that you're out there listening to the show this morning. Send your name, what part of town you're in, maybe some exciting weekend plans you got going on, or anything anyone you'd like to have us mention, or whatever else you got to say. Text mm-hmm. all that info over to 22987. We got the uh, DUIQ coming up this hour. Dumbass contest for you to win a prize. And we're going to start the hour with your Friday fail story. Somewhere along the line, it went from being a great idea to one big stinking mega uber ultra. (laughs) Man, Menace must have had that energy drink today. Man, you get a good night's sleep? Uh, No. No, wow, like, damn. I'm Woo, on, my ears hurt. <laughs> I'm on fumes. <laughs> Are you? Yeah. What? Could have fooled me. <laughs> Can I start with a fail story of my own? Yeah. Sure. It's from this morning when I was getting ready for work and I'm taking my morning shower. And I guess I was just in a rush or drying off too vigorously. But whilst drying myself from the shower, I basically punched myself <laughs> in the right uh, 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 testicle. Yeah. Oh. And I still have a low grade stomach ache from. Really? It. Yeah. Oh, you like, punched wow. yourself in the nuts. And basically, I'm just drying off fast. I thought, ooh, uh-huh. I'm kind of ahead of schedule today. I want to yeah. be a little early, and I'm drying off, drying off, drying. Off. Boom. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And it still hurts. Oh man. wow! Right this very moment, yeah, I'm in pain, a hernia. Or something. I know. Oh. Can you do that? Can you give yourself a hernia? Yeah. I yeah. Don't, I don't, That's how you get a hernia. By, by, punching, by punching yourself? yourself? No, no, not by that, but I'm saying uh, like by lifting something heavy. Yeah, by yeah. lifting right. and stuff, yeah. yeah. So, I mean, uh, not fun. Yeah, uh, I got out of the shower recently. I had a, not a, didn't punch myself in the nuts, <laughs> but a shower fail. <laughs> okay. Uh, I was like, oh, cool. You're ready to get out of the shower. And yeah. I, uh, I go to dry off. I realized that I hadn't washed the soap off my armpits. Um, so they're all still soapy. Yeah, yeah. Because you know you do the whole yeah, thing. Yeah. I rinsed everything sure. else off, but my pits are all soapy. Oh, yeah. They're still all sudded up. Yeah. So anyway, turn the water back on, yeah, and you have that awkward moment where it's cold at first. Exactly. Yeah, the first yeah. couple seconds. Right. Uh, well, this story is out of Salinas, California, where this Japanese restaurant in some trouble after they accidentally served a two-year-old girl some wine instead of apple juice. Hey, lucky yeah. that her parents had ordered. Now sounds uh, like Salinas. So the parents didn't even realize until the girl got to the point where she couldn't even hold her head up. Oh, my God. The mom peeks inside the little girl's juice cup, you know, serving one of those little sippy lids on it. Right. And there was a brownish red liquid, gave it a sniff, and realized exactly what was happening. The little girl on the way out, leaning on walls, falling over, (laughs) even slurred speech. They uh, took her to the hospital. hospital. She had a blood alcohol level of 0. 0.12. And she said, this rule. Which is almost twice the legal limit for adults. It's lit. The uh, <laughs> restaurant said. Almost twice the legal limit, please. The restaurant said it was house-made cooking wine that was mislabeled as apple juice. Uh, so it is juice. Yeah. yeah. 
It's Authorities serious. are investigating, and it looks to be an accident, but still, you know, fail. Yeah, fail. It's an accident. She loved it. Yeah, you can almost drive. You used to be almost able to drive at the point yeah. one, two, until these damn got in charge. <laughs> oh, yeah. Damn blankety bleep yeah. blanked. <laughs> I thought I had a clip of, um... Drunk was, kid? No. No, I mean, oh, uh, Mom, let's, let's drink this all yeah. the time now. Yeah. I'm hooked. <laughs> point one rule. It's awesome. No. Uh, let's we'll see. save it for Friday night. <laughs> Jim, boy. Watch. I just want to party. Yeah, I want to make Bluey better. <laughs> yeah, there, there was something in here. Like, it was an old report about how... Um, oh, yeah. No, how, yeah, they lowered the... It, no, people were all upset that they couldn't have a beer on the way home. Yeah. Like, then they first made drunk drinking and driving illegal. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Anyway, I'll, I'll, I'll find it. This, this sucks. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's 1945. Yeah, it's a blow. bunch of squares. But it was just really, fu- it was just really funny because yeah, like, the attitude was so different. I mean, yeah. ah, what are you thinking here? Can I have a few yeah. beers before I go home? Yeah. You know, the, the after a hard day's work, I want a beer on the way home. The attitude yeah. was so different. My dad once got pulled over. It was 2 in the morning. The cop said, have you been drinking? And his answer was, it's 2 in the morning. What do you think I've been doing? <laughs> and, he got, and he got escorted home. <laughs> yeah. Well, man, why not? Oh, oh, well, you know, and he uh, killed 50 yeah, kids. Yeah, it was like 90 kids, yeah. Oh, oh wait, everything was fine. Yeah. <laughs> it was fine. <laughs> I tell you what, here. These, yeah. What is this, Soviet Russia? Right, a bunch of carpet bags. And what are the Reds over here? Uh-huh. <laughs> uh, next up, 73-year-old guy in Detroit to crash his car while eating chicken wings. Uh-oh. That's, Uh-oh. Way, by the way, way up there on the list of worst foods to eat while driving. I don't know why people like, like 7-Eleven sells those things. Like chili in a bread bowl, cereal, lobster. Like, you, yeah, like, right. you don't need the sizzling fajitas. A salad. <laughs> right. Uh-huh. Anyway, to make matters worse, he had rear-ended a Michigan State trooper oh, no. who was just sitting at the red light. Oh. The old guy too busy with those wings. Didn't notice. Nobody was hurt, but he was cited for distracted driving. Dude. Yeah. Fail. That'll happen. Seabass, you ask why are they selling wings at convenience stores? Yes, I'm like, why? Dude, they're selling wings everywhere. I was in an airport, and Nathan's Hot Dogs. The hot dog people. The hot dog people are selling chicken wings. Why? why? Are they really? Like Great Gory says, is there enough chicken? <laughs> <laughs> I know. We're going to run out. Uh, here's one where the cops, they saw a post online about somebody selling a golf cart, Greg. Lucky. One of your dreams. Be so and happy. And they knew the guy selling it was already wanted for crimes in three counties. So they sent an undercover to go set up a meeting with the guy to buy the golf cart. And as soon as the dude arrived, he saw it was the cops tried to escape on said golf on cart. The golf cart. <laughs> which also turned out to be stolen. Oh, no. Okay. They sent the uh, police Dugans after him, got him under arrest. He was taken to failed. Fail. <laughs> How fun. And uh, here's one of my favorite stories of the week. It's about this guy who broke into an apartment earlier this week, and he was caught because he stopped mid-theft when he spotted an irresistible book on the table about Greek, uh, Greek mythology. Just had to read it. Mm-hmm. Hearing something happening in the other room, the tenant woke up, confronted the burglar, who was startled. After all, he was really into that book. <laughs> he was just sitting there on the couch reading it. Why didn't he just take it? So uh, he got up and he ran without the book. The oh. cops found him, got him under arrest. He had a bag of designer clothes, which he had stolen earlier that night. And uh, he was processed, currently chilling in fail jail. Oh, oh, that's man. so <laughs> funny. What would you say is your favorite Greek myth, Ennis? My favorite Greek myth? Uh, I would say the Thor. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. You can all give him credit. It's amazing. Yeah. Mine Shout would be Thor. Mine would be that you can use Windex for everything. <laughs> get it. Yeah. Yeah. That was a joke. <laughs> Getting. Did you get that menace? No. Okay. Mine is that the Richard Gear Dribble one. Get it. Oh, get that, it. that was a good Mine's one. Mine's that yeah. carrots belong in a salad. Oh. <laughs> Pepperoncinis. Now, now that's getting. funny though because we've heard of thieves stopping for like to eat their food or yeah, take or a nap, take a na- right? Yeah. But never to read a book. Nope, nope. Should have just taken. Usually book. not scholars, you know. No. All right, well, we're gonna take a break, and then when we come back, we'll see what else you know. Ooh. The DUIQ. Oh, yes. That's our dumbass contest. We got the phones cleared and opened out right now. Eight seven seven forty four Woody. If uh, you want to call in, you could be our contestant. Chance to win a prize. Seabass talking to a drunk. Asking some trivia questions, and uh, if you can guess correctly whether the drunk will get the answers right or not, two times out of three, you will be the winner. And then we'll also see what uh, Sammy and Menace come up with in the DUIQ next here on The Woody Show. 877-44-WOODY. The Woody Show, back in a minute.